Hello and welcome to i3 Robotics. Today I have brought another interesting project in the Tinkercad Arduino circuit that is controlling LEDs through external command like a user controlled LED. So through uh, your computer keyboard if you type one you can turn on the red LED if you type two the green LED and so on this is fairly very simple this is interesting code wise as well so if you are just a beginner you can level up your code so you can see uh, on the code button if you click we do have a window a serial monitor window that pops up if you click it gets minimized if you click again that's a small window pops up through this window user and arduino can talk to each other so if arduino has to say something you can show through the serial monitor and if you want you to type anything one you can send the message to arduino using this window so that's going to be completely fun what i'm going to do if i type one the red LED is to turn on if i type two green and likewise so if i type five the white should turn on this is all i wanted so there are three major steps the step one arduino will uh, send a message to the user that pre, uh, please enter any number between one and five and then Arduino will wait for the user to enter the number because you a user can type the message after one second two second or three second so it, it, the Arduino will wait for the user to get input and then after the user has given input the Arduino will read it and accordingly he will turn on the uh, LED so that's fine let's do it so the first thing first I need to type a uh, I'm going to type a command uh, you can say comment title comment block that is what the code is about so I'll write code for user controlled LED so this is the code for the user control LED the first step is that let let the Arduino send the message to the user in monitor that please enter a number between 1 and 5 so here we can type those I will write please enter a number between 1 and 5 so this is the message that will get printed in the serial monitor as soon as this block will get executed that's fine next is the Arduino will wait for the user to you know um, give the input so how we can make them to wait We'll go to control block and here we have a block called repeat and we will select repeat until and for that uh, we need to give a condition that you keep repeating this block until user types any message. So the Arduino will wait until you don't type anything right as soon as you type it Arduino will record your value and will do the stuff that is fine. So we need to give condition for till what it should wait. So I'm going to tell them repeat until the value from like input value. This is all about the number of serial characters available. So whenever your serial character that we are going to type, if it is greater than zero, means user have typed something. So until user has not typed, you wait simply, sit here. Keep repeating, but do nothing. Just keep checking what a user have entered or some value or not. So it will not proceed further until you don't type anything. So that is that. Very uh, uh, nice. Next is, uh, as if user has typed the value, we should uh, read that value as well and store it somewhere in, in a variable. So I'm going to create a variable where we can store the value that user has typed. So I will write read uh, number. So this is the variable I have created, read number. You can rename the variable as you wish. And then the next I will say, that whatever the user has entered, you save this value in this variable name read number. And here I will say that go to input and record, read it and store this. Read from serial and store here. And after we are going to give condition that if, ID, if user has typed one, then you turn on the red LED. To do so, very simply, I will bring a if block and if block so the Arduino will check this condition if whenever the condition will get true uh, that event will execute so the first condition I will give to give condition always go to math block this is the condition block that is less than greater than equal to not equal to uh, so this is and I will say that you check the number always you check the number 
read number this is the variable so always uh, it will check the uh, number in the variable what is that number if it is equal to one if it is equal to one then what it will do it will turn on the seven number LED so it will turn on the first LED that is red which is connected to pin number seven so I will set the pin number seven to high that's fine okay and I will keep all other LEDs off in order to visualize that yes he has done the job so I will keep all other LEDs off like pin number seven pin number six uh, pin number five I will keep all off uh, similarly like pin number five uh, that is third LED uh, yellow one this will also uh, I will make it low and here also I will make low all remaining LEDs I will make low so six five then four and one last is left uh, that is three so this is the idea all about and I think remaining you can it can be done it it will be very easy but if there is something one important thing uh, that I would like to tell you if you type one uh, here in the Tinkercad it doesn't read it as one it reads the ASCII value so when you write type one here what uh, the Arduino will read as, as 49 so while we are giving the condition we need to write here 49 so that this condition will become true so actually he will read the ASCII value if you type 1 the computer will read its ASCII value that is 49 ASCII value of 1 is 49 so now it's perfectly all right the next condition is uh, we will write that what have what should happen if the user has typed 2 not 1 so the ASCII value for 2 is 50 so if you type 2 the Arduino will read it as 50 and if it is reading 50 it's going to turn on the second LED that is connected to pin number 6 that is green LED and it will let all other LEDs be off that is very simple let's do the one third step and I think to turn on the third LED that is yellow so this time if I type 51 means 3 if you type 3 its ASCII value of 3 is 51 so this condition will become true and the third LED I wanted that to turn on that is yellow LED so third will turn on respectively on similarly let's do for the last two so the last two is uh, for 52 that is if if I type 4 what should happen so if I, if I type 4 the fourth LED is the blue one should turn on and remaining all should stay off okay so this is what uh, it should happen and I think it will be so last we are writing for 54 so when I tap 54 the fifth LED will turn on and remaining all will stay low so I think we need to make change everywhere we need to make change everywhere here also uh, yeah uh, let me check once more if there is any error yeah that's fine and we got it now is the time to test it before testing let me turn on the monitor serial monitor and now what is the first first Arduino supposed to prompt the message to user let's start simulator and see what is happening yes Arduino has prompt the message please enter a number and now I'm going to tell them to turn on the first LED that is red I've clicked one and then send yes boom it has turned on the red one and what's the magic after turning on he has asked me once more please enter a number so this time uh, I'm going to write five so that white LED I want to turn on this is five. Oh, there is if I type five something else is turning on so you need to you need to verify uh, what is there uh, what is the bug but I think it's worked, uh, working perfectly let me check second if I write two what should be done let me send the value if I write two the green is turning on that's fine let me write three if I write three the yellow should turn on yes yellow has turned on let me write four so this time uh, which one is turning on if I write four uh, nothing is turning on means there is some uh, some issue let me write 49 and 50 51 uh, 52 we missed we missed 52 here 
it should happen 52 and here uh, 53 that's fine and now our code is perfectly okay if i start simulator again and if i clear the message before again arduino uh, will print a message uh, let me start once more yeah so arduino has prompt the message and now i'll tell them to turn on the fifth led this is happening yes the white one is turning on the fifth one and if i type four let me say yeah blue so this is how the project is working i hope you enjoyed it